Now guys, we're just having a quick look at our the inside of our tunnel here, which we've painted. As you can see, there is still parts of it that are not dry yet. So she's sitting out in the back garden here. It's nice and dry out here today, nice and sunny. And also we um, we also done our rock face here, uh, hillside. So uh, that's, that was just a grey wash with a little bit of PVA glue on it. And that'll be our basic ground cover, I think. Uh, we still have a lot more to go on over the top. But uh, I like the effect. It looks very realistic, actually. Even if I was just to leave it like this, it'd look good. So, looking very well. Definitely. So, basically, all you do is get some white paint. A uh, very, very small amount of it on the brush. Um, I'll show you now. A very, very small amount. Just, just make sure that you don't use too much because if you use too much, you'll just end up with a blob. Okay. So, just get in some of the highlights, as I say. Just put them in lightly, lightly, lightly. Put them in, and uh, it looks good, then, yeah. So now, uh, a few here at the back. Now I just, um, yeah, just go over here to the side now. Need to do a few here as well. A little bit down the side here. Make it look better. Now, now there is some greenery and some grass still to go on over this course. Um, I'm not so sure we're seeing it in the best possible light here. Uh, I, I might bring it outside now in a minute, into the daylight and uh, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah, that looks good now. It looks good. Right, I think I might leave it just at that now, this, this particular part, which is the hill, okay? Um, uh, just leave it over here for a minute. I'll bring it over here actually to the proper light. Um, now, you can see there, looking at that, just here seems a bit bright but it's not really it's just the way the lights hitting it and then you have the rocks on top and down the side um, it does look much better with a bit of highlight put into it uh, definitely okay I'm going to do the tunnel now as well so the tunnel will get the same treatment okay I'll be back in a bit hi guys welcome back now we have the tunnel on the hill uh, put in place. You can see now how effective using the white on the dry brush is when you're uh, doing rocks and things like rocks. It's very very effective for highlighting uh, the rocks. And that's our cliff face now at the back as you can see. It looks very well. And if we go around here we have our hill which is quite rocky at the moment. Now there is a lot of green and uh, trees, like uh, pine trees and stuff like that to put in here uh, as well, which I won't be doing that, I don't think, until I get to two ends and we'll see where we stand with them. Okay, I'm going to run the train, uh, run the train through and have a look at the train going through, I think. See how it hands out for Yeah, it's quite good. I think we'll go over and have a look from the other side.
Well, as I said, it looks a bit dark now at the moment, but you know, when we put some of the some of the ground cover uh, and some trees and that on it, it'll look much better. I've been working on some uh, static grass and things like that. I figured a way of uh, dyeing uh, sawdust with food colouring. I might make a video on that at some stage when I make up some more. But uh, as I said, I don't think I'll do any more with it now until I get the two ends because the two ends will, you know, tie it all together and we know exactly where we stand then. But yeah, she's looking good. She's looking good. It's, as I said, back a long time ago, you have to see the whole picture. You have to imagine the finished, the finished item, you know. You have to imagine the finished product. As you can see there, I have a few dairy gold tubs. I have some some grass and stuff I made up in that uh, different uh, colours and that. This is I'll actually give you a look at that while I'm here. Actually, why not? Um, as I said, I'll just this is tea now. I'm going to use tea for some of the some of the ground cover. I'll just turn off the train. Uh, what you do is get some tea bags and uh, empty them. Okay, we'll use that for some of the. We'll use that for some of the soil in between the rocks or whatever, okay, before we put honey green on. Then I've made up some uh, coarse. Now this is very coarse, okay. Uh, as you can see, I've been experimenting with making some hedging here. And I also started making a tree, which uh, looks a bit sad at the moment. But anyway, this stuff is very, very coarse. And what I done was I went down and I got some food colouring. Uh, uh, this stuff here now is, uh, you know those packs of sawdust and stuff you get in the pet shops and when you sift it out, uh, the coarser stuff, this is the really coarse stuff that's left, okay? Now that will come into play at some stage. And to get that light green, what you need to do is uh, fill the thing with water and put about three drops of green food colouring into it. And leave it in it for about 10 minutes. Don't leave it in any more than 10 minutes or it'll get darker, okay? Now that's that one, that's the coarse one, okay? Now this one here is the fine. Now it's the same. Um, this is the fine stuff. Uh, now for this, this, this one is, as you can see right now, this one is darker, okay? Now what I've done with this one is, uh, the same principle, you fill the thing with water and put your uh, sawdust in, but you add a little bit of blue food colouring to get it darker, okay? Uh, so we'd say two drops or three drops of the, the green and one drop of the blue. And the same again, leave it for about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? Then take it out and make sure it's fully dried. Now this is the lighter stuff, this is... Uh, the light green now. This is um, this is leaving it in for about uh, about ten minutes or so. So it's it's you know it's just a cheaper way of doing it. And it is, as I said, food coloring seems to work well because I you know I use some of that, and um, as you can see, that's stuck to that now. But if there was going to be any issues with the PVA glue or anything, the color would have faded or you know, we would have lost, we would have lost color along the way. So I think food coloring actually works quite well. If you want to try it at home, by all means, uh, you know, give it a lash. You know what you got to lose. You know, a bottle of food coloring doesn't cost very much. Now, you know, you'd you'd cover a fair bit of distance with that now. You know. And it's not much different, I don't suppose. Well, I've never seen the real thing. I've never bought it, so I don't really know. Uh, so that, anyway, that ends this video now. Um, as I said, when I get the two ends for the tunnel and I get some of this green on uh, onto the hill and a few trees and things, I'll make another video. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye now.